Thank you so much, uh, Sri Kumar. I, I think I would be the most irrelevant person in this panel to talk about, uh, you know, education and um, how my inputs can in, in, in any way impact it because I would probably be the on the other side of uh, creating distraction. Uh, you know, that, that's that's where I am. I am expert. My expertise is in. I, I make ad films, so I've made a, a, almost 500 films and uh, I also make uh, films that that touch us. That's something that are connected with us. I mean, the latest ones that won the national award was Kandit Tunda based on my father's stories. Uh, father's ghost stories, uh, we kind of made into an animation film, which it became pretty trending in, in Kerala. I'm, I'm based in Mumbai. Um, so we have a studio in, uh, in, in Mumbai and uh, in Kerala also. I studied at NID. I, my schooling was done in Kerala. Since some of you are from Kerala, I think it will be relevant. I am from Tripunitra. I studied in Chinmaya Vidyalaya, where they taught us many things that we never had to even look at. For 14 years, we studied so many subjects that are so irrelevant to me. Um, I think the NID was, uh, when I got into National Institute of Design, it was a place where everything that I was uh, learning at, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a day, was encouraging and uh, it was it was stimulating and it 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 gave me a lot of confidence impetus and worldview as well when i was studying over there i think that's that's a very very big difference when i when i moved from a school which where i studied from lower kindergarten to my 12th um i I studied so many subjects which were not relevant. I think being relevant is a very important thing for education institutes. You know, you can't, you don't have to like give everybody everything. If if there is a choice that can be, if you can choose who is requiring what, and if you give it to them, I think staying relevant uh, will will make sense. Then you know that when we are trying to teach somebody, I mean, I, I learned calculus, I was good at it, but I don't know where am I using it in today's time and age. You know, I sometimes I get nightmares that I'm sitting in my physics uh, paper, my 12th grade CBSE board, 12th grade paper with, with calculus, and I I blank out because I don't understand any questions. I, I'm, I, I'm, I sweat and wake up in the morning. It's a nightmare. I mean, I, I, I learned it because I had to pass. Is that a requirement for education? That's where I think the biggest dif difference is. You know, the there are there are so many unwanted things also that are added into the package when you have to study. Um, why people are distracted? Why students are distracted? Why why students are we are distracted? I was looking at my phone a few times when this was going on. I was distracted. To be very honest, um, because. We are seeking engagement. We need engagement. And if we, if you are not engaged, we are disengaged. So it is up to us teachers, if you are teaching, I do go to institutes, I, I talk to them. Yes, when I'm there for a day or two, they, people are excited. People have a lot to listen to. They have a lot to do. I stimulate them. But can't that be a, a regular thing? I mean, why? Why do the regular teachers become boring? And when we walk into the place, it becomes like, oh, wow, it's, it's, a, it's a big difference. Why is that? I think that is to do with staying relevant and, um, you know, having a little bit of entertainment. in, uh, And that could be a way to engage with your students and your, uh, you know, like what Sonika was saying, was connecting with me. I mean, like, yeah, you need to, like, not take them out of the classroom. We had, at NID, we had to go and stay in a village, in, uh, in, a, in a Gujarat village, where I had, where we had to learn Gujarati in 20 days to write, speak, and we had to interact with them. I was staying in a Harrison boss, where Harrison's lived. And there are some other batchmates of mine were staying in the Patel boss, where Patel's was staying just to understand their, their life and their 
we have and we we absorb what we gain out of that is a sense of perception which is so sharp that when we are talking when we, all of you are talking i know how and what are the backgrounds of each person and you know it it is it is very sharp i can understand uh, why you are saying what you are saying so it, it it is a great thing for my my work you know when i'm making a film i am bringing characters and i need to be very observant i need to collect characters from mundane conversations so it it becomes very relevant for me such and as a designer when i it is not a artistic profession it's not it is a logical progression where we we kind of come up with a solution to a problem with a proper process and it's it in one sense it is very boring when you look at it one in one way but it is a, an extremely engaging process for us when we get a brief to make a film we are it is a challenge like maybe a thesis and we have to make a film in impossible timeline sometimes impossible budgets it's a uphill task so when i'm talking to our team here also it is i need engagement from them adhd is a common term that we hear nowadays and it could be an excuse but uh, i think even i have that if that is the case because yes i am also hyperactive and um, yeah if somebody is not making sense to me if somebody is not relevant i switch off um so we can't blame the students for any of this thing yes we we have entertainment coming in loads right you know from all sides and entertainment is coming when we make a film we are told that 5 seconds is the uh, time uh, where we can captivate an audience if you lose them in 5 seconds you lost them so 5 seconds have to like completely grab your attention uh, and then you will watch the next 20 30 seconds right and when you look at youtube films that we upload also you can see that you know the surge of attention where it goes where it dips all those things we are we read you know so it 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 needs to be engaging i think engagement is what is the solution to our problem i mean how how you can engage with them we need to reinvent new ways of engagement rather than asking them to shut their phones or what or this and you know all those things we can't do they need to be excited to come to our our lecture i mean even if we make ourselves as a joker it's okay they they would come to listen to you you can impart a little bit of knowledge you it's not like you need to give them like concentrated education you know it can be diluted with lot of lot of things i mean you can change spaces you can you can change formats you can show them a film when they don't expect it you can um, you can bring somebody from outside maybe if somebody somebody from the road you don't need an expensive resource but even a shopkeeper outside can come and tell them a few things that they don't know and make them feel relevant so i think that is where we go with structure so much that we kind of feel that if we go move out of that structure you know of course there are all this universities and others are all working on structure so if we make when i suggest them why don't we change that oh no 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 that if you have to change then you know we need to like get to the vice chancellor and they has to do that and then no lead can be changed it let's not th- talk about it it's not possible so we have made the systems so cumbersome that we we cannot go out and make any changes we are talking right now but if we have to make a change like we are saying it's impossible for you to do it because we made such concrete structures that if you make a small moment to make things better for the student it is going to shake up the whole system you will have to ask if you have to bring that shopkeeper like i said for him to talk about his daily life and his experience you will have to go to the management you will have to go through the bureaucracy you will have to get what what qualification does the shop, shopkeeper have to come and talk to the students so our students are paying fees for certain things you know it's he's not relevant can plan cancelled you were just looking at a small distraction to engage with them but you lost that chance right so this this is where i think as teachers we will also have to think about out of the box ideas sometimes to engage with them engagement is the key they are engaged with other things that's why they are disengaged to education okay i think uh, uh, suresh would you like to conclude uh, i mean we, we are going to talk right so it's yes, yes. okay i mean i am i'm i'm just talking i don't have anything prepared i'm just talking to you because this these are 
observations that I have, I felt my education at NID was really great. I mean, I, I never got bored, never got disengaged. Um, there was always a daily stimulation was there. I don't regret it that I use it as an energy even till date. Um, I mean, it's been like 20, almost 25 years since I finished NID. I mean, I turned 50 this year. So it is uh, still very, very, very much there that input that I've received from there for those, those five years are still driving me. And uh, I, I still stay relevant when I'm talking to people. And uh, I, I, I feel even in the times of so much of disengagement and distractions, the, we call them, we, we cannot call this a culprit, that a culprit. It is not true. I think we need to look at the ways where how we engage with the with the children. That's that's the way I, I would uh, yeah. think.